Hi, Mark. Hi, good to see you. And uh, I hope you and your team uh, are doing well. And, and, and I, first of all, again, want to thank you for the warm hospitality in uh, Odessa uh, two weeks ago. It, it was really a wonderful visit. And uh, particularly uh, the fantastic visit uh, to uh, the academy where the new where the soldiers and the, and the officers of the proud Ukrainian army were trained. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I think it is crucial to state again that what is happening now in Gaza and the terrorist attack on Israel and all the follow-up from that will not, shall not and cannot distract us from what is happening between uh, you and Russia. Uh, the fact that you are fighting off the Russian aggression and we have to make sure that the world uh, is able uh, to focus uh, both on Ukraine and of course also um, uh, is involved very much in what is happening now in the in the Middle East. Um, and um, uh, I would also like to thank you um, before we go to into more detail uh, for the invitation to become a member of the uh, multi-agency donor coordination platform that will absolutely help also for us uh, to be more to be more effective. Um, again, the fact that you and I regularly meet is also testimony to the fact that at least also in this country, um, the uh, support uh, remains extremely high for what you are doing. Uh, you are fighting for our values, for our collective safety, uh, for humanity. Uh, and the whole of the Netherlands is with you. And I again want to, uh, to state that. Um, since my visit to Odessa, we have been uh, working hard to deliver the Patriot systems and the patrol boats. Um, and I expect the Patriot missiles to be delivered shortly uh, to aid Ukraine in the upcoming winter. And uh, the same speed applies to the F-16s. Uh, the first ones will be shipped to the training center in Romania uh, within the next two weeks, so that they will get ready for further training. And then I really want to congratulate you on pushing through with the meeting in Malta, which has been very successful. The meeting of the National Security Advisors on the implementation of your 10-point peace plan. Um, over 60 countries uh, attended uh, from east to west, from north uh, to south, um, all underlining that the world is in full support of the restoration of the full territorial integrity of Ukraine. So also this is testimony to the fact that the world did not lose interest. And then I think we can also celebrate another, uh, another landmark because uh, we have had the official start also by our uh, national security advisor in Malta of our bilateral, so Ukrainian-Dutch security arrangements as promised at the NATO summit in Vilnius. We are now the sixth country with whom you have started these negotiations and the first non-G7 country. And we are very happy, but also very keen to keep the momentum of our pledge to stand with you for the long term. Uh, and I hope, uh, I think, to our both our national security advisors are working to make sure that the first draft of a MOU is ready as soon as possible in indicating that in the next four years uh, we can together build up your defense capability. Thank you so much, Mark. First of all, thanks. I'm, 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 I'm really very pleased, dear friend of Ukraine, that for this conversation, really, we have 28 telephone dialogue. Uh, so with you, and uh, I really appreciate for our warm contact and very productive dialogue. Thank you so much for your visit two weeks ago, uh, your visit to Odessa. I think it was very constructive and uh, very powerful. I think it's really important to save our infrastructure, Green Corridor, and uh, we are thankful for your support, your people, your team, and of course for, for, for military support. It's really important. Thank you that um, also I, uh, for this uh, decision that we had about our air jets, about, uh, uh, sorry that I'm seeing that our jets, not, not our jets, <laughs> but, but in future, I really hope so. Yes, for, for the beginning, starting 
training mission of our pilots is very important. Maybe, maybe it will be a new page in this war. I hope so, but anyway, it will help us to control, to control the sky. And uh, uh, I know that you had a meeting and you had, uh, uh, last week you had a visit to Israel. And uh, if it's possible, can you share with me details of your visits? It is really important. And of course, I'm very thankful and I want to share with you all, all the challenges, what will be before the winter, because we have some details from our intelligence, what Russia is preparing to do, what they want to attack, really very contracting details, how they want to attack our energy system. We have to save uh, energy system of Ukraine for, for, for our life. Uh, and. Uh, uh, we had really, you mentioned already, we had really very good meeting in Malta. And thank you. And uh, your uh, advisor, Jeffrey, he was, he was represented uh, your team, your government. And it's really very successful. Uh, of course, the most, the biggest success will be when we will, when we will have on the level of leaders uh, the decision because it will bring us peace. But for today, it's really more than 60 countries. It's really successful today to have this platform and where all these countries really respect the idea of peace formula. Uh, so uh, thank you for, for this.